This is True for Real Deal Boxing Talk. I'm here with Thomas Hill. How you doing today, brother? I'm doing good today, sir. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. So what's, what's, what's going on with you? I see you training. We're at the Mayweather camp. What's next for you? Uh, I don't got no day yet, but you know I'm in the gym working, perfecting my craft, waiting for opportunities. Okay, because I know usually you're in the um, Spence camp, right? Yeah. Okay, what happened with that? You just took some time um, off? or? Nah, I just got a lot of things going on I got to take care of, and you know, when the opportunity presents itself to resume, then you know, we'll go from there. Right. I gotta take care of business first right, right. So what do you think you'll be back fighting again in the year or early 2020? Uh, early 2020. I got a lot of stuff going on. So like I said, I got to take care of what I'm taking care of now and then uh, get a fresh start next year. All right. And how do you feel with the with the boxing game, with just everything around it, with uh, all the champs and the PEDs? How do you feel about people being busted and what's going on? Do you feel like it's a lot of people on PEDs and people just now getting caught? Um, honestly, I feel like they just now, like you said, they just now getting caught. But I mean, people have been doing it for the longest and they ain't been getting caught and doing their thing. Right. You know, I don't condone it, but if they could do it and get away with it, more power to them. But, you know, I don't, I don't do those type of things. But, uh, yeah. Cheating only works for so long. Right, absolutely. Yeah. All right, real quick, just to touch on it. What, um, how do you feel about that Porter and Spence fight? Um, I feel like it's a good fight. Honestly, I feel like it's the only tough fight out there for Spence, but I think Spence stops him. Right, 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 right. And a few more questions. That uh, Anthony Joshua and Ruiz, do you think Ruiz can go in there and, and pull it off? Again, you see yeah. how they changed the location and made it yeah, further, I, whatever. But I think Ruiz with his I think Ruiz, background, I think Ruiz could pull it off again. The reason being is because when you take a loss like that, it's more mental to get back in the ring than uh, than anything. So I feel like Ruiz just got Anthony Joshua's number. Now, do you think people are sleeping on him? Because I know a lot of people, if they don't know boxing and look at his background, you look at his body type. Yeah, he's still in of, shape. For sure, a lot of people sleeping on him. They uh, they look at his physique. And think that he's not ready and then they look at Anthony Joshua's physique and they compare those but uh an ab never won nobody a fight that's what people gotta realize true true so um Andy Ruiz been down he's gonna stay down and dedicated and do his thing man and Anthony Joshua you know hopefully he get his stuff together come prepared mentally and physically and uh hopefully they put on a great show like they did the first time Right, right. But I'm I'm edging towards Andy, honestly. Absolutely. And where can everybody reach you on Instagram and Facebook? Uh, you can reach me on Instagram at T underscore Hill underscore. And uh, I don't have a Facebook anymore. All right. Well, I appreciate that, brother. Taking the no time problem. out. And, uh, you know, this was unexpected last minute, but you jumped in and gave it to me anyway. I appreciate it. No problem, it. man. It's all love for all the, you know, boxing publicists, boxing, boxing sites, especially yours, man. If I can help by doing anything, I will. Right, right. And I'm going to follow you any weigh-ins or whatever. You help me out, I help you out. I can film whatever you want me to do. So That's real. All right, thanks, boss.